It is no longer a question of whether there is a whole system of planets lurking somewhere up there and will pass by the Earth in the near future, but when this celestial system will pass by us. Yet, as x sign tries to collect information, connects the dots and keeps everyone updated on the last situations on planet X, there are still many individuals out there who will stubbornly deny the existence of this apocalypse. The two questions I encounter the most is, if it's up there, why do we not feel it? And how do NASA's or any government hide an entire planet? Hello everyone, GTSAT here at X Science, and today I'm going to counter argue two of the most common questions that I stumble upon regarding the issues of Planet X. As usual, before we start, let's have a quick Planet X 101 for the newbies of this field. So Planet X, also known as Nibiru or Wombard, is another big planet or system of planets and its satellites that belong to our solar system of, or a binary solar system. It has a weird elongated orbit, somewhat like that of a comet. It comes into contact with Earth periodically and when it does, it will cause a mass extinction and wipe out most of the human civilization. There are plenty of evidence for its existence. Even before modern time, many mathematicians and physicists have calculated that there is another big planet beyond the orbits of Neptune and Uranus, thus making the orbits of the two gas giants somewhat distorted. Then, in 1983, NASA made headlines in the Washington Post and the New York Times when it announced the discoveries of a new planet by its infrared satellite. One week later, President Reagan made this part of a national security mandate, thereby prohibiting any institutions or agencies from addressing these issues in public, hence all the cover-up theories. But we'll come back to this later. What is even weirder is a few years ago, NASA once again announced that its IRAS project discovered what could be another planet after three decades of staying silent on the issue. Okay, so now let's go to the first questions of why we do not feel Planet X if it's up there. The answer is simple. We do feel it. We are just told that it's not it. The coming of an apocalypse would definitely spread fear and chaos around the world, leading to economic and political collapse and destroying our civilizations even before judgment day really arrived. So here we have the sign of this. First of all, the increase in the Earth wobble, that is, the field in the Earth rotating axis. We are talking about a planet at least 10 times more massive than the Earth. And so the first thing we can feel is its gravity, which makes us do more and more. This has been observed by farmers around the world whose livelihood is based on watching the sky. This has also been reported by Ineos elders. You see, the people live in the Arctic, far away from the equators, and thus they are at the place where it is clearest to see the changes in the angle of the sun and the moon. Now I'm going to show you a video, which is an interview with these people for a while back, so you can see for yourself if this wobble thingy is true or not. Isumagata, <laughs> 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 
Let's put that in a more numerical perspective. Now imagine the sky as a big clock. Then 3 o'clock would be the east. 6, 9 and 12 would be south, west and north. Before 2000, the sun rose at the position of 4 o'clock and set in the opposite directions at 8 o'clock. However, by 2005, it rose at trees and set at 9. It does not stop there. In 2014, it rose at 1.30 and set at 10.30. So the positions changed by already 2.5 hours. That is a lot. It is much more chilled now. Note that all these positions are taken during summer days, so no, there is no seasonal change involved. Also, on the day of summer solstice, which is the 21st of June every year, the sun's position at high noon has also changed over the recent years. In 2005, it was in central Mexico. Then, it moved north and reached central United States in 2014, and then the US-Canada border in 2015. That's the whole 2000 miles in only one year. In 2016, it moved back down the bit and was around 41 degrees north latitude. All of this was caused by the de-wobble, and as far as I know, there could only be one reason. A big gravitational force is affecting us. The known planets of the solar system are still normal, so it means something unknown to us must be on its way approaching us. As the wobble increases, the Earth's core is being shaken up. Tectonic plates move more strongly while the molten lava below are being pushed up to the surface. This results in the dramatic increase in seismic and volcanic activities all over the globe. If you have been a subscriber to X Science, you would know that 40 volcanoes are currently active worldwide. The whole rings of ice is roaring back to life. And the most well-known major eruptions at the moment is the Kiloya eruption on Hawaii's Big Island. Also, the Yellowstone supervolcano is showing signs of reawakening as the huge fissures open in Grand Teton National Park, right above the magma chamber of Yellowstone. For your information, if Yellowstone erupt, almost a hundred thousand people will die immediately and two-thirds of the area of the U.S. is going to be inhabitable. In the long term, volcanic ashes will cover the earth, putting it into a nuclear winter, while acid rain will pour down as the amount of sulfuric ashes in the atmosphere increase. Another mass extinction will take place even before our fellow planet X arrive on the spot. And what I have here is the simulations of the Yellowstone super eruption, and you can see that before it erupts, the entire volcano is somewhat heated up and burning bright red. Oh, by the way, the Yellowstone super eruptions 2 million years ago caused a plum as high as 100 km.
Planet X also causes our time to act anomalously. I have several times talked about this phenomenon of extreme tides becoming more and more common all around the world, so if you want to, you can find it in our previous video, and I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm just going to show you the soft videos of the historical ocean receding in Central and South America from a while back. So you can get a quick overview of how much tides are being intensified. I hope these signs convinced you of a real incoming disaster. 
Now moving on to the second question. How do the authorities hide an entire planet? First of all, they tell us all the signs are normal. They say that these eruptions are normal, that these tides are caused by storm. The United States Geological Survey went as far as lowering the earthquake scale by one, and it successfully underreported the number of mega earthquakes in recent years. Then, they spray mist into the atmosphere. This practice is known as chain trailing, and it creates a layer of some kind of visual shield that blocks Planet X from the naked eyes. You see, Planet X is already hard to spot because it is quite near the direction of the sun, and therefore it is blocked by the sunlight. Now, with a layer of visually protective chemical, it is even harder to be spotted. What's more is the use of light satellites like this one. This may sound incredible, but we have it from insider source. So, anyway, this satellite works like a complement to the sun. Basically, when for any reason the satellite is not strong enough to sense our planet X here on Earth, this satellite would light up to cover what's behind it. Of course. All these operations are not perfected all the time. Thus, we sometimes observe a second sun, which is either Planet X or this satellite, when it is not in the right position. We also have three suns phenomenon where the satellite is not aligned, and we see all three things, our sun, the satellite, and Planet X. You see, this is an issue of global security. So there is nothing weird about them investing fortunes in a way to control the crowd. Another question I would like to address before ending this video is Why are there so many expected dates for the arrival of Planet X on the internet? Well, simply because it is the internet. People are scared, confused, or too free. So they come up with dates for the attention of mixed up different information. For example, many people once confused the end of Mayan calendar in 2012 with Planet X. Anyway, what I want to tell you here is that don't always believe in the dates because there is no way with the limited data that we have for anyone to know a date. That's all I want to address for today guys. Don't be fooled by the power that be. Keep looking to the sky because who knows what signs you might stumble upon. By the way, it would be great if you could subscribe to us because new videos will be coming out soon, including another series of updates on the Geostorm Super Volcano. Stay safe guys. This is JT at X-Sign, signing out.